So here, what we're going to be looking at is we are going to be focusing on looking at two patterns and then turning those into coordinates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at pattern A, which is right here. And pattern A says that the rule is to add two. So from seven to nine, they added two. And from nine to 11, they added two. 2. So if we add 2 to 11, that gives me 13. And then if I add 2 to 13, that gives me 15. So all I'm doing is filling in the missing parts. So now, if we look at pattern B, the rule here is also to add 2. So we went from 4 to 6, we added 2. From 6 to 8, we added 2. So if we add 2 to 8, that gives me 10. And if we add 2 to 10, that gives me 12. Alright, so now I have my patterns. The next thing that I want to focus on is actually taking my information from my patterns and turning it into coordinates. So what we're going to do is Pattern A is going to be our X coordinate, and pattern B is going to be our Y coordinate. And that means that I'm going to focus on these two numbers right here, 7, 4. Well, 7 represents the X axis, and remember, the X goes from left to right, so this is our X axis. And then we have our Y axis which goes from top to bottom. So this is our y-axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 7, 4, and I'm going to go across to the 7, which is right there. And then I'm going to go up to the 4, which is right there. And that gives me 7, 4. Then I'm going to move to the next part. 9, 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across to the 9, which is right there, and I'm going to go up to the 6, which is right there. All right, our next coordinate is 11, 8. So we're going to go across to 11, and we're going to go up to 8, which is right there. Then we're going to do our next coordinate, which is 13, 10. So we're going to go across to 13, which is right there. And we're going to go up to 10, which is right there. All right. And then our final is 15, 12. So we're going to go across to 15 which is right there, up to the 12, which is right here. All right, so now we have plotted all of the points from our pattern. So we have taken two patterns and turned them into a set of ordered pairs, a set of coordinates. So let's look at one more example like this. So here we have pattern A where the rule is to add 2. So they went 2 to 4, and they added 2. And then they went from 4 to 6, and they added 2. So if we add 2 to the 6, that's going to give me 8. Okay? Now, the bottom pattern, pattern B, says that we are going to add 6. So the rule is a little bit different. So from 3 to 9, they added 6. From 9 to 15, they added 6. So from 15, if we add 6, that gives us 21. Exactly. Alright, now, what we're going to do is we're going to plot our points. Remember that for this, pattern A is our x-axis and pattern B is our y-axis. 
So that means that we are going to start with 2, 3. We are going to go across to 2, and we're going to go up to 3, right there. All right, then our next set of ordered pairs is 4, 9. So we're going to go across 4, and we're going to go up 9, which is right here. All right, then we look at our next set, which is going to be 6, 15. And we're going to go across 6, and we're going to go up to 15. So across to 6, up to 15, which puts us right there. Now, my last set of coordinates that I have, which are 8, 21, are not going to fit onto my grid because of 21 and my grid stops at 15. But that is okay. Now, what I want you to do is to pause the video, see if you can figure out the two missing numbers from this pattern, and then on a piece of graph paper, see if you can solve or plot this into the coordinate grid. 